In August 2023, a relatively obscure Chinese military vehicle was involved in a strange and random act, caught on video and published on a Chinese microblogging website. The 25-second long publication shows the aftermath of an unlikely car crash involving the VN-22 and a small car, somehow on a public highway. The VN-22 had made its debut in September of 2021, before almost vanishing from the public eye. It first appeared during the 13th China Air Show, featuring over 450 weapons and equipment items. Amidst the endless array of new products at such shows, China North Industries Group Corporation Limited, or Norinco's creations, regardless of size, are hard to miss. That year, the company's shining star was the introduction of the VN-22, a new 6x6-wheeled armored personnel carrier that looks like it can do anything. One of the VN-22's main features is the adoption of a new engine with 800 horsepower. This, combined with an independent suspension system and the design of its hull with mine-resistant armor, achieves a unique balance between mobility, personnel protection, and firepower. But amidst the fanfare in China, Western analysts immediately noticed the glaring similarities between this upcoming vehicle and an American-made model used for decades now. Is Norinco's VN-22 armored vehicle a copycat version of the U.S. Army's Striker? Or is it a truly Chinese creation, with more firepower than the U.S. vehicle might be able to handle? In addition to supplying the People's Liberation Army and many other military branches, China's state-owned warfare technology companies are rolling out so many new products each year that global demand can barely keep up with the production volume. One of the most recognized companies in this group is Norinco. The manufacturer, China North Industries Group Corporation Limited, best known for their tanks, artillery, and now drones, is one of the world's largest defense contractors. Since 1980, Norinco has independently developed an array of products, from main battle tanks and armored vehicles to unmanned systems, anti-missile and air defense systems, and intelligent ammunition. These innovations often debut at China's renowned Zhuhai International Air Show Center. During the 2021 air show, Norinco introduced the VN-22 armored combat vehicle. According to Norinco, the vehicle integrates the most advanced technology in related fields in China, turning it into an amphibious vehicle encased in add-on armor with a spacious roof suitable for several weapons. Although still in development, analysts find the VN-22 already impressive and expect further improvements to enhance its maturity. As one spokesperson proudly declared at the air show, the vehicle exemplifies that, quote, China is not without technology, but it is not used. The VN-22 is a combat vehicle explicitly developed by the Norinco Group for international markets. Overall, VN-22 possesses the highest level of technology in China's wheeled armored vehicle. Its technical level is far superior to the ZSL-92 and ZBL-08 models currently serving in the People's Liberation Army. In statements made at the Zhuhai Air Show, the state-of-the-art technology is even higher than the new eight-wheeled combat vehicles that engineers within China are still testing, and it's more comparable to the German Boxer 8x8 armored vehicle. According to Norinco, the VN-22 is one of the most advanced and powerful in the world. The VN-22's primary role involves supporting combat units with its firepower. Additionally, according to the Global Times, quote, this armored vehicle can be used for transporting combat troops, patrol, reconnaissance, counterterrorism, and peacekeeping missions. Like many Chinese-born designs, information about this vehicle is scarce and mainly derived from public photographs and descriptions. According to Norinco, the VN-22, which can survive an explosion of up to 22 pounds of TNT, can make all six of its wheels pivot, making it extremely maneuverable. The VN-22's design comprises three main parts, positioning the driver at the front left side of the hull and the engine compartment on its right. While the vehicle is compact, the VN-22 is quite tall, according to estimates nearly seven feet tall. In terms of weight, the turret and armor are estimated to weigh up to 25 tons. To push this massive vehicle, the power system engine aboard delivers 800 horsepower. In 2021, the extensive coverage in Chinese media emphasized the VN-22's main selling point. This vehicle has a suspension system that can be raised or lowered with a simple switch. While this feature may seem peculiar, it enhances the vehicle's mobility over rugged terrain, protecting its cargo or occupants during transit. This is the first time an active defense system has been installed on a Chinese wheeled armored vehicle. 
due to the large frontal angle, it's estimated that the front can defend against stabilized armor-piercing projectiles, NATO Level 6, and Level 4 defense. In addition to the vehicle's strong defense capabilities, its active attack performance, according to descriptions, is also very strong, as it's equipped with a 30mm unmanned turret and can even launch anti-tank missiles. Because this turret is remote-controlled, it will be less vulnerable. Going by Norinko's four-decade track record, there likely will be additional variants, and it wouldn't be surprising if an anti-aircraft weapon system pops up on the VN-22 in the coming years. During the 2021 air show, there were two VN-22 variants shown, but only one enjoyed extensive media coverage. In the event, this variant took part in an open-air obstacle course. It was armed with a remote-controlled turret with a 30mm cannon, as well as a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun and a 40mm automatic grenade launcher, all manufactured by Norinco. The VN-22 showed its flexibility to the audience during the operation in a mud-covered obstacle course, performing excellently. In 2021, Chinese audiences marveled at Norinco's latest vehicle. At the same time, Western observers couldn't help but notice the vehicle's striking resemblance to a popular American design. From photographs published in state-owned newspapers to written descriptions released alongside them, the Norinco VN-22 combat vehicle caused many analysts to wonder if, with it, China is attempting a rip-off version of the United States Army Striker. Even beyond their virtually identical appearance, the official descriptions of the vehicle's broad mission scope also mirror those described by the United States' Striker. The American-made model has several variants, including command and control, direct attack vehicles, reconnaissance, infantry carrier, counterterrorism, and even a medical evacuation variant. The Chinese reports regarding the VN-22's ability to withstand small roadside explosions also appears to be a copy of the U.S. Army's effort to reconfigure the Striker vehicle for improved resistance to improvised explosive device and bomb blasts from the early 2010s. For this, Strikers were reconfigured with a blast-deflecting double V-hull underbody to improve survivability for soldiers riding in the vehicle. While the underbelly of the Chinese model was not visible during the airshow, from the photographs, it does appear to be raised from the ground to ensure blast fragments are dispersed. Despite all the apparent similarities and China's decades-long documented tendency to copy American weapon specs, configurations, and firepower, the vehicles also have differences. The primary distinction is evident. The VN-22 has six wheels, while the Striker boasts eight. However, the most significant disparity between the Striker and VN-22 is the timeline. The Striker vehicle made its debut in 2003, coinciding with Operation Iraqi Freedom. With a nearly 20-year-long difference in debut, it raises questions about how much more modernized or current the VN-22 is, or why the Chinese waited so long to roll out one of their own. Apart from the 2021 introduction at the air show, the VN-22 program has remained in obscurity, as is typical with warfare technology development. In August 2023, a peculiar and unanticipated event unfolded when one of the VN-22 combat vehicles collided with a small car on a public highway. This unusual incident was captured on video and shared on a Chinese microblogging website, providing a 25-second glimpse of the aftermath. The text published with the video names the vehicle as the VN-22B, which might hint that an upgraded variant is already being developed. The armored vehicle is most likely still in its testing and development phase, because it is meant for export and won't be joining the PLA's wheeled vehicle fleet. Instead, it's expected that, when finished, the vehicle will join the ranks of the Chinese allied countries, such as Pakistan, Iran, Middle Eastern nations, North Korea, and even Russia. In January 2023, the first batch of 90 striker vehicles were delivered to Ukraine in their fight against Russia. Whether in this war or in the future, given their strikingly similar roles, specifications, and deployments on opposite ends of the global military landscape, one can't help but imagine the potential for a riveting striker versus VN-22 showdown.